<laughs> good, good. good. Right, today for something a little bit different, I want to start with a joke. Right, this is for you guys. Okay. What do you get if you dangle some lettuce in front of a chicken? I don't know. Chicken Caesar salad. And that's what's oh. on the menu today. It's <laughs> 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 brilliant. <laughs> oh, yes, dad joke's coming out already. That's what we're going to do today. Chicken Caesar salad. It's really simple. It's great. We've got the addition of some roasted chicken breasts. I'm going to show you some secrets how to get a really good, juicy chicken breast without overcooking it. We've got some prosciutto there, which we're going to make nice and crispy croutons. And I'm going to show you how to make a chicken Caesar dressing, which is really good, which makes the difference. Now over to you, Holly. Holly, and welcome back to the Cafe Kitchen, where we are making a chicken Caesar salad. Yum. OK, Mark, let's get straight to it. Right, so best thing and most important thing about a Caesar salad is the dressing. The dressing. So do you know what goes in the dressing? Um, no, I have no idea, actually. So mayonnaise base, but then you've got um, characteristics. You've got lots of garlic through there. It's a little yep. bit of mustard. And then we're making a mayonnaise, so it's like nice and creamy and anchovies. Anchovies? Well. Yeah, so you get that sort of salty hit. Yeah, OK, yeah. cool. So well, I've never made one before, well, so I'm going to do it today. Today's the day. With you at home. OK. Right, so same, same process as making a... Um, Mayonnaise. Right. So we've got some egg <laughs> yolks in there. Either. Okay, cool. Uh, what little, have we got in there? Sorry. So just egg yolks. Egg yolks. So yes. Egg yolk in there. A little yep. bit of mustard. Yep. So Dijon mustard. And then we talked about garlic. So a little bit of garlic. So just crushed garlic. Yum. Goes in there. I'm going to put a tiny bit of salt just to start it off. A little bit of salt and pepper. Yep. And then I'm going to get some acidity in there. So you want the acidity to balance off all the oil. So I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in there. Cool. And then also a splash of vinegar. OK, well, this seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the easy part. So that's the base of it. So give that a good mix and get that all emulsified. Good to make this at home by yourself, too, eh? Oh, that's great. And you can do, do the same process for a mayonnaise. And, uh, you know, you can add any ingredients you want in there. You know, you, blitz, you can do this in a food processor, which is even easier. OK. But I just thought I'd make Mike work today. <laughs> Thanks. doing it by hand. So you can do it by hand. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Uh, yeah. you, you know, put herbs in there, put anything you want. Right, so once all the base is sort of emulsified, I'm going to slowly, and this is the key to it, slowly right. add your oil. So you can muck it up? Yeah, quite easily, actually. So should I slow down a little bit? No, no, you can whisk, you can whisk right. hard. OK. You just got to slowly add the oil. OK, cool. So just at the beginning, just a trickle, a few drops at a time, yep. trickle, and then you'll see it start to thicken. So can you split this if you do it too fast? Yeah, so if you dump it all in at once, it will split. Right. So, okay. you know, best just take your time. You can see I'm doing really slow. Yeah, because I'm going really slow. <laughs> no, that's good. So you can see I'm not sort a food of... processor. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can see it's sort of starting yep. to thick. Yeah, yep. it's looking good. You know, it's just all about emulsification. OK, so patience is required. And patience, yeah. But you're going to get your nice home, fresh-made result when you do it this way. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, convenience and ease, you know, you can buy a dressing in the supermarket, but much more fun, and you can balance the flavour and get a perfect flavour. Nice. You know? This is fun. So I do fun. like it. Yeah, right, this is cool. We put the recipe at the cafe.co.nz, by the way. And yesterday's recipe and the one before that. And you can see now, so we've, we've done it really slow, but you can see it's starting to thicken now. Yeah, this is good. So once it once it's thickening, you know you've not uh, messed it up. So you can add the oil a little bit faster now. OK. You know, so get a little bit more of a steady stream that goes in. And the more oil you add, the thicker it's going to get. Oh, yeah, I can right. feel that thickening up so you can, myself. You see, you can see it's getting nice and thick now. So it'll get to a point where it gets so thick, it can't take any more oil, right. and it will split. And then so you you've know. got to be careful. Right. You've got to be careful with that. But if you want to, if you want to make more, and you think it's too thick, just a little bit of like a spoon of hot water in there, yeah. it'll just loosen it down. Brilliant. Okay, good. Right, so you get the thickness you want, and then we've just got some anchovies here. It's going to really chop them up nice and fine and just pop them through. We'll give it a taste. Yep. Add some <clears> extra <throat> salt if we need to, um, and a little bit more lemon juice if we need to, you know. But then that's pretty much the Caesar dressing. Nice work. Right. So, chicken breast. Hot so, pan. Yeah, so get a nice hot pan, get some oil in it, get it nice and warm. Season your chicken breast. Yep. So, we're going to leave the skin on there. So, make sure the skin's on it if you want, because you get it nice and crispy and it's a nice little extra for the salad. Pop it in. Skin side down. I knew it was going to do that. <laughs> yeah. A little nice bit of seasoning hot. on the other side. Make sure the pan's nice and hot, non-stick pan, and then we're going to put that straight in a hot oven, about 180 degrees to 200 degrees, and keep cooking it skin side down. It's going to get nice and golden crispy, and then the oven's going to actually bake the chicken as well, and I'll show you that a little bit later. OK, that's right. There are a few more steps, which we will see very soon, to build Mark's beautiful chicken Caesar salad. So we'll come back in just a few minutes, straight after we check out another great offer from Holly.
We need to finish off at this fantastic Caesar salad. I just checked that dressing, it is good. Pretty good, isn't it? Nice. Right, so we've got the dressing. Yep. So now it's all about putting texture and, uh, you know, different flavours in the salad, you know, make it interesting. Cool. So, got a pan there, little bit of oil, and we've got this prosciutto here. Lovely. So it's already dried, so just be really careful when, you, when you're starting to cook this. OK. You don't want to get it too crispy, otherwise it'll go too salty. So just start off on a sort of a low pan. Yeah. I'm just going to pop them in there, and then just keep an eye on it, flip it over, and get it sort of, you know, started okay. to get that crispiness <laughs> You're going you to trust me to keep an eye on it. I'll watch it, but you just keep an eye on it too, OK? <laughs> OK, cool. Right, and then we're going to have some croutons as well. Yep. So just got a little bit of uh, shea batter here. So just nice slices. You know, you can do this with old bread. It's really good. Yep. So just nice sort of thin thin slices there. I'm going to pop it on a baking tray, a little bit of oil and salt, pop it in the oven so they get nice and golden and crispy, you know. Brilliant. The oven's already on because your chicken's cooking. Yep. So and these will only take about sort of five, six minutes, you know, if you do them nice and thin. All the smells coming from this prosciutto are amazing. That's it. So you can sort of see it's, you know, it's starting to sort of soften now, so it won't, it won't take long because it is a dried product. So a little bit of oil over your yeah. bread, a little bit of salt and pepper, did you say, too? Yeah, a little yeah. bit of salt, yeah. just there lightly. Go. That goes in the oven to get nice and crispy. OK, nice. Got a little baby gem lettuce here, so just make sure you wash these. You can pull the leaves off and just give them a nice wash and then drain, and then you're left with all these beautiful leaves. Brilliant. We'll pop in a little bit later. We've got some parmesan, which has already been shaved. Poached egg. OK. All right. Here's a tip for poaching eggs. We so like tips for poached nice, eggs. Nice big pan, a little bit of malt vinegar. OK, oh, interesting, vinegar. I use white vinegar. You but get better what, flavour. OK, so it's malt's all about better. Flavor, good, yeah. good tip, I like this <laughs> tip. Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong. It's malt vinegar, get it right. boiling. Right, and then I'm going to blanch the eggs. Sounds a bit weird, but I got shown this, like, oh, it must have been about 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. And it's great, swear by it. Nice. So literally only for about sort of five seconds. Yeah. Get them in, get them out. And okay. it just sort of... Well, I think it sort of just sort of sets the outside slightly, you know, it just so, helps with the shape. OK, cool. So it basically holds it together, doesn't it? And if yeah, I, sort so of. Rather than it spreading all through the <laughs> pot and becoming nothing, like mine usually do... Yeah, <laughs> the so pressure's, hopefully this helps, Yeah, the pressure's yeah. on now, isn't it? I see fresh eggs as well help. And then we just want to bring this just up to the boil and we've got a nice big deep pot and I'm just going to stir it. You can do this with a whisk or do it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. We're going to use gravity to create the shape. OK, so give it a good stir straight away, crack your egg, drop your egg in, and you can see as it's spinning around, it's sort of it's sort of getting the white around the yolk and it's spinning. Oh, mate. And it's sort of getting that colour. And then just make sure you've got it just under the boil. So once you, you know, the water stops sort of spinning, it's starting to set the egg. If it's not hot enough, it's not going to set the egg, so you're going to lose the shape. No, because what you've got, you've got that classic teardrop shape, because mine always just end up turning into nothing. I'm basically just left with the yolk. Uh, so good work. Malt vinegar, do a bit of swirl, and the prosciutto is looking really nice yeah, too. That's yeah, it. that's it. So that's what you want. I'm going to take that out very soon. You know, just Yum. a little bit of texture in there. Bring it up to the boil, turn it down yep. for a simmer. Okay? OK, just let it tick over. Probably about two and a half, three minutes, going to be perfect. Have the salad ready to go, take the egg out, serve. Nice work. Obviously our chicken as well. And you're going to put a bit of onion in there as well, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, just going to slice oh. a bit of onion. So we've got that. So, we, you know, it's just about getting all the components ready, just yep. having something different. You know, nice bit of raw red onion as well, just sort of freshens it up. I'm in heaven! I love that smell of the prosciutto, that it's been lightly fried. The egg's going in our Caesar salad dressing, which is ready to go. This is going to be fantastic. So we'll get the tips on serving it up so it looks fantastic just a little later on. Well, let's check out how the Caesar salad is going, Mark. Right, we are ready. So the chicken's been roasting for about 12, 15 minutes. Leave it skin side down, and then when it comes out, flip it over, let it rest two or three minutes, and then you've got this beautiful, crispy-skinned, juicy, succulent chicken breast. Look at that. So that goes oh, on the salad. Yeah. So I've just dressed the salad. <laughs> chicken goes on. Beautiful poached egg in the middle, some crispy prosciutto. Oh, that is a Caesar salad. That fancy bacon. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a, few, uh, a few croutons on there. Yeah. And finish it with a little bit of parmesan. Beautiful, Mark. There you go. Yum. And Mark gave us a great tip before on uh, how to do poached eggs. If you miss them, then make sure you check it out on our website, OK? That's pretty really good. Yeah, yeah, nice. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, Tuesday. Well, tomorrow, yeah. well Tuesday, mm. oh, I'm going to do vegetarian. So a whole baked courgette with a tomato sauce. Yum! That actually sounds really good, and courgettes everywhere at the moment. <laughs>